paying very close attention, and when it comes down to it, they might be a big company, but this is still fraud. This Bay Area woman is the prime suspect in an Amazon fraudulent return scheme. Good evening. I'm Keith Kate. I'm Jennifer Lee. Investigators say she gamed the return process to get hundreds of thousands of dollars in refunds from Amazon. Justin Checker is live at the Sheriff's Office for us in Ybor City. And Justin, you tracked down the suspect today. What she have to say? We did, Jen and Keith. Good evening to you. I also met some of her former neighbors who told me they would constantly see packages being dropped off on her doorstep. 32 year old Hate Timma lives at this home in Palm Harbor, but this Tampa address is listed in her grand theft arrest report. Neighbors tell Eight on Your Side they notice daily deliveries coming to the store. One told me she noticed boxes piled up to the ceiling inside. Another neighbor tells me when they recently moved out, her husband said they were keeping this address for his wife's business. This woman found a loophole with a very large company that all of us use almost daily, weekly, a lot of times, um, and she took advantage of that loophole. Hillsborough County Sheriff's deputies say Timma had 31 different Amazon accounts. She's accused of manipulating the company's return shipping policies by reusing prepaid shipping labels from canceled returns. Basically what she was doing is claiming that she paid for the shipping prices when she didn't do it. This court document says when Amazon received the packages, they would refund the defendant's account in the amount of $3.99 a package. Since 2015, investigators say her accounts have more than 42,000 individual returns, resulting in reimbursements of more than $165,000 from Amazon. They have a fraud department, and they were tracking her for, for a while. Timma is already bonded out of jail, so eight on your side wants to know. Um, what were we doing making all those returns? Uh, no, I don't have any comment. Do you have an attorney we could reach out to? Uh, not yet. And an Amazon spokesperson tells it on your side they have systems in place to detect suspicious activity and they've cooperated with this sheriff's office to hold the suspect accountable. We're live tonight in Hillsborough County. I'm Justin Shecker, 8 on your side.